So let's look at what exactly happened. We took Google Sheets and tried seeing what happens as we repeat this process. All right, what is the process? Initially, you give one by three, one by three, and one by three to all the nodes. Correct? You start with the same values. It's the resources that you have. We have used the example of gold coins, if you remember. I repeat, we have used the example of gold coins. I'm saying resources. From now onwards, I will say just an assignment, right? It is the value that I assign and every time in every iteration, what you do is you, uh, uh, the value of uh, let's say A is transferred to C, the value of C is transferred to B, the value of B is transferred equally to A and C, right? We understand this. So far, so good. Now, when I observed where it converges, we observed that it indeed converges. Do you remember the values? The values were 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. You see that the total is equal to 1. Why is that? That's very easy to see. The resources that you have distributed to these nodes do not go out anywhere. They just remain in the network itself. This is like the law, if you remember, let me write this down. This is like the law of conservation of energy, correct? The law of conservation of energy says energy can either be created, it cannot be created, nor can it, can it be destroyed. What is happening here is exactly analogous to the law of conservation of energy. The sum total was 1, that's how you started off with, right? And it remains 1 until the end. But what just happened, this process has actually converged. And that's what you need to understand. How did it converge? I suspect this was a coincidence that it converged. It may not so happen for all the graph. Will it happen for any random graph? If I take and then see, uh, assign values to it and I'll observe that it converges, may not be true. Let us check for another graph to understand this. In this case, the graph that I considered here uh, looks slightly trivial. By trivial, I mean, what is it? Just three vertices and some four edges. Maybe it looked very symmetric and that's why the convergence happened. Maybe it may not converge just in case I took some other graph. Let us take some other graph and then see whether it converges or not.